Hey everyone, this is Elaine Sarantacos. I'm feeling so much better. I've been sick for the last few days. My voice sounds a little off, but I'm feeling good. I'm feeling positive on the inside. So um, this, the title of this is Elaine Sarantacos Biggest Baddest Bucket List. I'm just talking about my experience in the competition. So for those of you who voted for me, thank you so much. I appreciate it with all my heart. I'm up to, let's see, I think 701 votes. Um, I entered in this competition one week ago and it is to win my biggest Biggest, baddest bucket list. This is where one person wins a trip six continents for six months to six continents all around the world. Everything's paid for. Um, they get $10,000 spending money and they see the world. Everything that um, my destination like coordinates for them. So it's basically checking off your bucket list so that when you come back it's this much smaller as Anna says, uh, the social media manager for my destination. I saw her video. So, um, in winning this, and then when you come back, you get a sweet ass prize of $50,000. So, I'm really excited to enter in this competition. Um, I'm not the number one person for votes. I'm actually in fifth place, but that doesn't that doesn't mean anything because they're choosing the ten most people with most votes, and then from there they do the interviews. And it makes sense because sometimes it depends on you know some people who are entering in this competition. Maybe they're discouraged because. Maybe their networks aren't large, or they're not as big uh, with online social media. So, I guess, and I guess they take into different consideration, different factors. For example, your presence, um, how passionate you are, how much you want it. I honestly, I like pray. I know whatever's meant to be, but I pray, 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 pray that I get this. This would actually be a dream come true. So. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, uh, please check out my channel. I have about 400 videos. Most of them are related to life coaching, living out your dreams, and living your life through authentic travel experiences. Uh, if you don't know, in a little bit about me, I was an OPA. I've been okay. I was born in Canada. I lived in Australia until I was nine. We moved back when I was 16. I did an exchange program to Mexico. After high school, I lived in Greece for three years and I studied hotel management. I worked on the island of Rhodes and in the north in Halkiviki. I also worked a year in the Cayman Islands. I worked a year in the Rockies. I've been an au pair in Spain. I was an au pair in Spain for three months. Not the best experience, but anyways, I still did it. Um, and in 2011, I created my dream reality because, you know, we're taught to dream big, you know, go after what it is that you want. So it was my dream where I would work three weeks and the last week of every month I'd go on vacation. So I did that for one year, traveling to different places. I'm sick and I'm just talking too fast. I need some water. <laughs> so I went to all of these places um, and I lived out my dream and I, you know, I made these um, blog posts and I made these videos and I grew my following online. Um, now, my dream basically was to create that lifestyle, but I know that all the time when I was living abroad or whenever I was traveling and I'd come back and people would say, you know, Elaine, why, why do you always keep on wanting to go? And I'd say, you know, I, it's so cool and, you know, just just little things that you can't explain, you know, maybe it's, you know, waking up in a village and it's the fresh air or seeing a pond, you're in a chateau and there's a pond and there's a duck or something like this. And back then there wasn't online social media. We weren't living in that online social media world that we're living in today. So that's why when I did my project year, it was so exciting because I was actually able to share my authentic travel experiences through Facebook, through YouTube, through my blog, through Twitter, through all of these means to communicate with the world and show beautiful things because our world is so beautiful. Um, so th doing this competition, um, it would be my dream coming true and it would just make it a lot bigger. I'd have a bigger audience. I'd My bucket list would be smaller. And I think that I, I would really love it. So I don't know. That's up to you. It's up to the voters. Whoever is supposed to be Whoever's supposed to be the person is going to be the person. Whatever's meant to be will be. I have strong faith in that. I'm like, but it better fucking be. It better be. <laughs> so anyways, um, I wish good luck to everybody. I also wanted to say to people that, um, this is kind of long, this video, sorry. Uh, it's four minutes already. Um, I wanted to say to people that if I don't win, if you don't win, there's other opportunities to do your bucket list and to travel and to work. You don't have to be a millionaire to do it. Um, you know, if you want, I, I don't know if you if you go into my channel, two videos before this one, you'll see I just met up with my girlfriend in Ottawa, and she was on a cruise for six months, and she was working, and she saw all, watch that video, she lists all these places, and it's not even including all the places that she went to. Uh, of course, she was in the food and beverage department, so it was 
hard work. However, there's other departments on a cruise. You know, I also know somebody who worked on a cruise in IT. He had a nice cabin. So it just depends. So you can do that. You can be a flight attendant. Why not? Um, you can work in hotels. You can work in resorts. When I worked in the Cayman Islands, I was a beach girl serving pina coladas up and down barefoot the sand at the Westin Castarina Hotel. So you could do that. Uh, I knew a lot of people who were who moved there and they were plumbers or hairdressers or just different things. So if you wanted the jobs, you'll be able to seek them, you'll be able to find them, they're there. Also, um, living in the Rocky Mountains, I worked at the Fairmont Chateau Lake Louise. It was an amazing experience. Um, and they also provide accommodation, which is it's subsidized, but it's very cheap, very inexpensive. Um, and you're able to do hiking, snowshoeing, canoeing, uh, snowboarding, skiing, uh, what else? Just there's so many outdoor things that you can do. It's amazing. So if you don't get this job, if you don't get this competition, I don't get this competition, it doesn't mean that that's it, that, that it's over. Everything that you want is there. You just need to go after it. So if it's meant to be, it will be. I just wanted to share a little bit about myself. So if you do like my video, please watch my video. It's in beautiful Cartagena, Colombia. Colombia, well, I've only been to Cartagena. I found this sweet ticket for $199, including tax with Air Transit from Toronto to Cartagena. It's unheard of. I had to go. I thought, you know what? I can't afford not to go. So I went there. Be able, um, if you go to that video, you'll be able to see snippets and some travel tips. So please vote for me. It's going to be in the info below. I really appreciate your support. Thank you so much and have yourself a wonderful weekend. That's love. Ciao. <laughs> Bye. BB, my BBB. <laughs>